Hello, class. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening. How are Good you doing? Evening. I'm good, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, so there's only the two of you. Oh, my goodness. What happened? <laughs> only the two of you. Wow. Okay. Well, hopefully the others are on their way. Um, how have you guys been? Everything okay, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. How was your weekend? It was good. Yeah? You had a good weekend? Just a show. Okay, good. What did you do? Uh, yesterday, I was, uh, I go out. You went out? Oh, yes. nice. Where did you go? I went to La Palma. Oh, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, so, do you do you have family there or something? No, only to uh, for coffee. For coffee, you went there for coffee. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that's interesting. I would love to go it's, there just for coffee. It's near. It's near from my house. Oh, really? Yes, only 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes away from your house. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, that's nice. Wow. Okay, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Um, just give me a second here. Okay. And what about you, um, Heidi? How have you been? I've been very busy. You've been very, very busy? Really? Yeah, I went to the market, the supermarket. Uh, how do you call this place where you buy chemical stuff to, to the garden? Like abono and poison? Um, and... I don't know, but that's a very good question. I have no idea. Um, hmm. uh, you're talking about like, like for gardening? Exactly. Okay. Uh, all right. So like a, like a, um, is it for like a, like a, like a greenhouse where you go to buy plants and flowers and things like that? It's not flower and plants. It's um, where you buy seeds. Uh, and I don't know how to say abono. OK. Um, uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer. Right? Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Mm -hmm. and, right. and poison. Because the gardener came on Sunday. Oh, and, and then I had to buy all of those stuff. And they told you that um, that you needed to buy those things. Yeah, there it is, fertilizer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I see. And um, so you were busy. In I the went to El Surco. <laughs> what? In Santa Tecla. El Surco in Santa Tecla. El Surco. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the name of the place, right? Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. Interesting. In Santa Tecla. I don't know how to say, how do you call this kind of place? Uh, they sell those things. Um, you would, you would just, um, that, that's kind of like, uh, it's not a bivet. You know, it's not. No, uh, I would call it like a garden shop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a gardening shop. Okay, that sounds good. All right. And what about the rest of you guys? How you been? How what was your your week? Hello, how was your week? 
Mm. For me, the usual. <laughs> but I could, yes, I could rest Saturday afternoon. I slept. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's always a great thing mm. to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay, that's great. Well, guys, um, so what we're gonna do, oh, first of all, we're gonna take our attendance. We need to take attendance. So just give me a second while I get it prepared. Oh. <laughs> oh not that. Attendance with music, oh. Uh, hold on guys, sorry. Es para animar a Ivan. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the tenants and then I'll give you guys the news. Um, so, okay. So we'll start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. And um, Javid. Present teacher. All right. Um, okay, let me see. Mm, Andres? Present teacher. All right. Um, and Dennis, I guess not, right? Dennis Orlando? No. Edgar, Edgar Alfredo? No, right? Edgar Alfredo Menivar? No? Okay. Um, Edith, Edith Chorleni? No, right? Um, oh, hello, um, Edgar. What happened? <laughs> Where are you? Yes, on time. <laughs> yes, on time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Irvin? Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Welcome, Irvin. Thank you. Uh, Viola? No, right? Um, Heidi? Present teacher. Great, welcome. And um, Irene? Irene? Is Irene here? No? Okay. All right. Uh, what about um, Ivan? Present teacher. All right, excellent. And Josue? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Um, all right, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. And Jury. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Excellent. Welcome. And Luis. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Luis, are you having internet problems? Can you hear me now? Oh, right, yeah, I can I can hear that you have a little bit of problems. Um, that's okay though. That's okay. Um, all right, hold on. Okay. Um Manuel Alejandro. No, right? Okay. Um and Natalia. Natalia? No, okay. Uh, Wendy? Is Wendy here? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Wendy. Um, Werner? Is Wer Werner, no? Okay. All right, um, Yvonne? Present. All right. Excellent. Uh, welcome. Edgar Enriquez. No. Eh, Elizabeth. Eh, Jose Montes. And Jose Ayala. No. Okay. All right. Let me just make sure that I have everybody because um, I didn't hear everybody. So let me make sure. Um, do I have, um, well, Dennis Orlando? No, right? Edith Chorleni? No. Fabiola? No. Irene? 
Um, and uh, Manuel Alejandro, no. Natalia? Natalia? Warner? Uh, Edgar, Edgar Enriquez? Elizabeth? And Jose Montes? Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> Give me a second. All right, so first of all, guys, I wanted to let you know that um, thanks to you that you were able to, everybody had this um, wonderful commitment of giving their documents on time. Uh, we were able to uh, program the beginning of the next course for this week. So we're going to be beginning um, the next module on Thursday. <laughs> yes, I was up with okay. that. Too. <laughs> okay, so in case you guys haven't, hadn't uh, noticed and read the information, um, so we're going to be finishing this course tomorrow. So tomorrow, Tuesday. And we're gonna have a mini break, let's say, for one day only, only one day, okay? That's it, only one day. <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> but, but it's good, it's good because you guys are gonna be able to finish quicker. Okay, so um, we're going to, um, we're gonna be resting for Wednesday and then we start on Thursday. Sounds good? Awesome. Okay. All right, so just um, keep that in mind um, so that you guys um, can remember that, um, you know, to schedule your, your class, you know, you know, where basically it's just like a very quick pause. Just pretend like we just continue the class, <laughs> right? Don't, don't, don't even think there's a pause, just we're going straight, right? Anyways, we just came from a break, Come, uh, you know, we were, we were on a break for one whole week, so. It's not bad, right? And then in the next module, uh, it, we would be also on the break for the 15th of September. So yeah, you guys should be okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so anyway, guys, uh, the important thing is that we are starting, we're not gonna be losing that much time and that way you guys can finish quickly, okay? That's the important thing. So, um, what we're gonna do is, uh, first of all, we're gonna start with our PowerPoint presentation. Just give me a second while I... while I present it. And please tell me if you guys um, can see it or not, okay? Oh, by the way, guys, before anything, I want to remind you that tomorrow we're having the um, evaluation, the, sorry, the survey, okay, the survey. Um, that's for tomorrow. And um, it's um, important that you guys are in class. Don't miss, please, the class because we're gonna be having that evaluation and um, we need to send your evaluation to InsaForm. Remember, there are, hold on, there are three, three requirements for you guys to be able to pass to the next level. So it's not automatic, right? Just because you give your, your, your documents in doesn't make it automatic that you are going to have, you're going to be in the next level. It's only possible to go to the next level if you comply with three things. What are the three things? Who can remind me? What are the three things that you need to comply with? 80% uh, of the platform Good. composition. I don't know if to use that word. Yeah, okay, so very good. So you have to complete the platform and um, have a score of 80 or above. Okay, so that's the first thing. 
Okay, so make sure, and that reminds me that you got to finish your platform tomorrow. Okay, so, and when I say finish the platform, I mean finish everything. So all of unit one, all of unit two, three, four, and uh, midterm and final exam. Don't forget the final exam. The final exam is worth the most. So if you are not, if you don't do the final exam, you won't pass, simple as that, okay? Got it? Okay. Okay. So that that's that's number one. Number two is what? Attendance. Attendance, exactly. How much do you have to have of attendance? A minimum of 80%. A minimum of 80%, exactly. So if you do not have a minimum of 80%, you will not be able to pass, okay? Any questions about that? So at this point, um, you, need, you need to have, at this point you need to have, um, let's say um, about, yeah, you, you basically, you have 10% 10, 10 more to complete the 80%. Because remember that each class, actually, no, no, I'm mistaken. It's 5% when they 8%. are four weeks, right? Yeah, 8%. You have 8% left. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Because each class in this case would be worth 4%. Okay, so 4% of your grade is, of your attendance is with each class okay so because we still have today and tomorrow that's eight percent that we can add okay any questions about that no okay so please 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 make sure that um you connect um like the whole class from uh, today and tomorrow so that we can complete that that um, percentage that you guys need, all right? And um, also remember, it, this is very important. This is something, and I'm going to stress it in the next level as well, that um, it's so important that you guys connect on time and um, till the very end. And um, if you're having internet connection problems, which is normal, it can happen. It happens to every one of us. It happens to me too. That's okay, but try always to connect back as quickly as possible, okay? So if you get this connected, that's fine. We understand, but try to connect back as soon as possible, okay? And, um, you know, if you, um, if your Wi-Fi, uh, you know, it's not working, then try with, with um, internet um, data, right? With you, uh, over your cell phone, but somehow so that we do not lose that, that, um, that requirement. And then the third thing we need to complete is, what is the third thing? What is the third requisite? ¿Quién se acuerda? Hay tres requisitos para pasar al próximo nivel. So who remembers? The mid and the final test? No. Uh, no, that would go with the with with the, the platform. The platform, exactly. Uh, no, I don't remember the the third one. <laughs> that has to do with what I just mentioned a few minutes ago about what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Ah, the test. The survey. The survey, exactly. If you don't do that survey, I'm sorry, you won't be able to to um, comply with that with the requirements to be able to complete and and pass the course. So that is why it's so important that you guys are in class tomorrow and completing the evaluation. Okay, all right. So. Don't miss it for anything in the world because that way we can make sure that you can um, go to the next level. Okay. Any questions about that? Clear. Okay. All right. 
Great. So having said that, let's actually go to the PowerPoint. Okay, so we're going to start over here. Um, please, again, tell me if you um, can see my PowerPoint. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, so, give me a moment. Okay. All right. So we have the intermediate module one, unit four, pers personnel training. And today is mo uh, Monday, August 16, 2021, day 24. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. So here we go with. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, sorry, my mistake. This is one first. Let me disorder that one. Hold on. Yeah, that's it. Ah. No, oh, this one's it. Okay. So training needs and um, an, an analysis chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to complete the training needs analysis or the TNA chart using the information from the box. Check your answers with a classmate. Okay. So here we have, uh, we've been talking a little bit last week about the training needs analysis. Or in other words, how do we determine which kind of training your the personnel needs? Okay. So we're going to be um, trying to figure that out. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to have, these are the options. It says handling credit cards is difficult for me. That's an answer. Um, kitchen manager, practical training in restaurant during off, off hours, grooming and personal appearance, serve orders uh, by picking up and delivering patrons uh, choices from bar and kitchen. Another answer is Jimmy Marshall. And the last answer is September 10th, sorry, so September, Saturday 10th. Any questions at this moment? About the uh, teacher, uh, what is the meaning of delivery patrons? Okay, do, do you understand the word um, delivery? A delivery is uh, like um, cuando llevan servicio a domicilio. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good. Exactly. Um, yeah. So um, yeah. So yeah. Exactly. Getting getting um, service uh, from the commodity of your home, right? So that, that's delivery. And patrons is like another word for like clientele. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So like the, the client. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other words that we don't understand from this vocabulary here? No. Grooming. 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 Grooming is. Um, how clean you look, okay? So, um, uh, for example, did you comb your hair or is your hair messy, right? Um, if, uh, for in the case of like um, the, the men, uh, if, they are, if they have a beard, is it a very bushy beard or is it very nice and cut, right? Um, or a mustache too, right? So is it like a big bushy mustache or does it look nice, right? So that's the grooming. So it's like the appearance and how clean and neat you look. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. All right, so I'm guessing that they are. it's all clear for you guys. 
So these, this is the chart, okay? Now the chart has different, different um, sections. So with the sections are the employee name, uh, the uh, training skills needed, the TNA done, well, this is already completed, done by Stacy Dorr, oops, sorry. And then we have, um, then we have um, the training solution, sorry, no, the, the major tasks of the position, the training solution, the date, the organizer or provider, and what other areas would you like to improve? So what you're gonna be doing is basically matching this, these sections or better so these answers to these sections. Does that make sense? Yes, did you? Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, so what I'll do is get you guys um, to do this individually first, right? Because we're gonna do it as you know individually, and then we're gonna be checking with a classmate. So you're gonna go okay. into the breakout room and check in with a classmate. Okay. All right. Good evening. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are we almost ready or do you need more time? How are you doing? Okay, you guys finished? No, you need more time? Class? Can you hear me? More, more time, teacher. Okay, all right, no problem. Just please let me know because I, 
I can't guess otherwise. Okay, we're ready now. Yes, I see some. I see some heads saying yes. I but guess. Yes. Yeah. Anybody need more time? No. Okay. All right. So what we'll do is the following. I'm going to get you guys to work in, in pairs, okay, to compare with a classmate. So, and we'll give you about five minutes because it's not very difficult. You guys want to share your answers and see if you have the same answers or you have something different, okay? So here we, oh, um, hold on. Here we go. Um, Juan Francisco, Javid, Wendy, are you guys there? Juan Francisco, Javid, Wendy, Javid and Wendy. Teacher. Yes. I have, I have a question. Uh huh. Um, right now I can. Uh, I can, I don't know, puedo saber cuánto tiempo tengo acumulado, teacher. Um, si, mándeme un mensaje, yo, se, yo le voy a mandar el, la información despuesito. Okay? Thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. All right, you can join your group.
Winnie, eh, ¿se puede meter el grupo? I don't know. I don't know where. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure with that too. Mm -hmm. Letter B. Server order by picking up and delivering pattern. Yeah. Pattern. For mm -hmm. me, it's a major test of position. Uh -huh. Letter F and G is, is easy. Man. Yeah, <laughs> what is employee name? And day. Uh -huh. And she is day, uh -huh. that's right. Uh -huh. But I don't know where are we going to put growing, grooming and personal appearance and handling credit card is difficult for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. So we have to complete letter A and, and D only. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. In organization or provide, provider, what did you put there? Organization, provider. I don't have nothing there. But I, I'm not sure. Don't forget to say that different. I think that handling credit cards is difficult for me. Mm, no, no. So we have to fill, organize a provider, and what other? Missing because yes, we have. Hello. What kind, of, what kind of vacation, Benny? Teacher. Uh -huh. I remember the name of this place. It's Agro Servicio. What, what place? The place where I told you I had bought the, the abono and the poison for the plants. Oh, okay. Agro Service. Uh, how would you say it? Agro Service. Agro Servicio. Uh -huh. um, farming services. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Because agro, we're talking about agriculture, right? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, um, uh, or for or a farming store. Mm, farming, uh -huh. farming services or farming store. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are able to see this. Are you able to see the, my, the picture? Yeah, we can see it. You can uh -huh. see it. I got bananas. Mm. You can see it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We can see Let me show you. I'll send them to you. You know what? Um, I'm looking at the information. You can also say an um, ag. You can say agro um, ecosystem services. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Agro ecosystem services. Oh. Agro ecosystem. Mm, agro eco ecosystem services. 
Agro Ecosystem Services. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's something you can also use. I'll send you the picture of my banana, not send it to. Okay, sounds good. I sent it to you already. Look. I right know. Let me see. Oh wow, that's a, <laughs> that, that's very um, uh, productive. <laughs> a very productive. yeah, we're so blessed. <laughs> wow, that yeah, my goodness. I got mangoes and lorocos and wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, that is so. That that's a farming. Um, No, I didn't. I didn't even plant that 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 bananas plant, but suddenly it start growing. Oh wow, that's amazing! Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> this is the second one. Oh really? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I have one in my house, but it never grows. It, it takes a lot of time. A yeah. lot of time. I yeah. know. Yeah, and they they're very small too. My mine are very small, so you know they're they're kind of like miniature. You have to wait for a lot yeah. of time. Yeah, yeah, we do. We ha I have to be very patient, I guess. That's the only thing I can do. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Um. So we're going to see you guys in the main room. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hey, okay, teacher. All right. But I said, uh -huh. yeah. Okay in the main room. Lady in red is in the house now. <laughs> it's the Ivan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, a nickname now. <laughs> Lady in red. <laughs> Lady in red is dancing with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we are going to share our answers. Um, tell me if you can see it. Hmm. Here it is. Yeah, you can see it. Yes. Yes. It's sure. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So to make this a little bit quicker, you can just open up your microphone and tell me what letter I can put in each one. Okay. So employee name, what letter can I write there? F. Letter F. F. Letter F, okay. Kimi Marshall. Okay. Um, major task of the position. What letter? E. 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 Okay, letter E. Uh, training solutions. The letter C. 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 What? Letter C. C. Letter C. Okay. All right. What other areas would you like to improve? A and A and A D. And D. A and D. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. A C D C. Um training skills needed. Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, okay. 
and um, let's see, a uh, date. G. 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 Okay. And organize or provider. There be. B. B. All right. So that's it, guys. Let's see if we uh, if we all agree. Employee name is Jimmy Marshall. Is that correct? Yes. 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 Good. Okay. Very good. All right. Next uh, major task of the position is serve orders by picking up and delivering patrons' choices from bar and kitchen. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, now letter C. Uh, training solution is practical training in restaurants during off hours. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. I yes. agree. Very good. Okay. Next. Uh, what other areas would you like to improve? Um, handling credit cards is difficult for me, and and uh, grooming. And, pers and personal appearance. You agree with that? Those answers? Yes. Mm, me no, teacher. You don't. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, for me, it's only letter D. Only letter D. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? What do you think? Don't be afraid. Tell me. To tell me. What are your opinions? For me, it's A and D. A and D. Okay. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Training skills needed. Uh, sure. Okay. Very good. Uh, the date is uh, September Saturday tenth. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Just that to be co like politically correct, we don't put in this order. It would be the Saturday first, and then Saturday ten. Yeah. So it should say Saturday, September tenth. Yep. Okay, so that's the, the correct order. Saturday, September 10th. Okay. And organizer provider is the kitchen manager. Is that correct? Yes, it's true. Yes. Okay, there you go. Bravo. Excellent. Any questions so far? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Because uh, you have the training solution, but you don't have the TNA. What? Mm. Because you have the solution, but you don't have the problem. Oh yes, I yeah I understand that. Uh, but mm. because in in the in the last sentence, what other areas would you like to do? I understand that it's other areas that you can improve, but not the principle of the analyze. Right, except that we're not really, we don't have a space for that. They're not asking us to complete that part. So we don't have, we, we don't, in, in this um, uh, TNA, we do not um, include the name of the actual training. We don't have a section for that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it is, I, I understand what you're saying and you're, you're completely right. But um, according to the chart that has been given to us, they don't ask us to complete with the name of the training. We just get the, what uh, areas they would like to improve, right? Um, and, and maybe maybe the person wants um, more training on grooming and personal appearance because some people, they just don't know how to look good, right? I mean, that, that, ha that happens, right? Some people just don't know how to, um, you know, to comb their hair in a way that it's going to look good or um, how to you know, do their, I don't know, 
um, their beard and their mustache or their makeup or whatever, right? So you can have that, um, or their clothes too, right? Also, that's personal appearance too, the clothes, right? So maybe some people don't know um, what kind of clothes go together, together right? So um, they need help in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, any other questions that you guys have? Okay. All right, so I'm guessing that this is finished, it's complete. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to move on to the next part. The next part is talking about the future, okay? Um, actually, it's the future, but we're, we're going to be using um, not only the future, we're going to be using other forms, but most of it's going to be about the future. So let's talk about here this, um, this table that we have, okay? We're going to be using, we're going to be looking at the different uh, uses of the will, okay? So I need a volunteer to help me read the first part then another volunteer to read the second part and another volunteer to read the third. Who can help me? Me, teacher. Okay, um, so Jerry, you can read the first part. Who wants to read the second? Only reading. Me, if you want. Wonderful, all right, thank you, Ana Claudia. And who can read the last one? Me? Uh, who said me? The DJ. Ivan. <laughs> who? Ivan. Me, uh -huh. Ivan. Okay. Me, me, Ivan. Okay. You, teacher. DJ Ivan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. You can see the last one, Ivan. Okay. So go for it, uh, Jerry. Uh, I think a famous chef will come to the event. The manager will prepare a new training for a host. Okay. Um, the observation? Yeah. Could you, exactly. Could you give us um, the sentence that explains? Uh, sorry? The, the first sentence. Can you read the uh, first use, use will to make a prediction to say what you be, believe will happen in, in the future. Okay. Good. Excellent. So. This is a prediction of just something that you believe is going to be true. Do you have evidence for it? Not really. It's just something what you imagine is going to be the future. Okay? So it could be true, you know, or it can be something, you know, very out of this world. It's something, you know, that is not likely to happen, or maybe it is, right? So it's just basically what you believe is to be true. Okay, so in this case, we're going to be using uh, will. Okay, all right, go for it, um, Ana Claudia. Okay, use will for decisions that you make spontaneously. Spontaneously, I know, say, como se dice? Spontaneously, huh? Very good, yes. <laughs> spontaneously, okay, at the time when you're speaking, consumers are complaining about slow service. I will talk to the staff. That server just spilled the soap on the customer. I will call the manager. So decision is spontaneously decisions. Mm. Right. Okay. So this is this is still about the future, but the decision you make in the present about mm -hmm. the future. Okay. It could be the near future, but it's still going to be the future. Okay, so it says consumers are complaining about the slow service. Okay, so in this moment, they're complaining. So what am I gonna do? I will talk to the staff. Now, am I gonna talk to the staff in this moment? Maybe, but you know, I might not be able to get them all in this moment. So I'm probably gonna have to, you know, have a, uh, a team meeting uh, maybe in a few minutes right? Or maybe to the next day before we start the, 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 the schedule, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So I make the spontaneous decision based on what is happening in the moment, 
but we're going the the decision is going to be for the future. Does that make sense? Teacher, and this is the what type of future? Because I know there there is a future perfect, but that is totally different, right? That's this is the this is we called call this perfect. like simple future. Yeah, sorry, the simple future exactly. Ah, okay, simple, simple future. future. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, and. So, and then we have the other one, which is that server just built the soup on the customer. Mm -hmm. I would call the manager. Now this one is definitely gonna be a, a, a future, a, a, but I said a near future, mm -hmm. right? Because um, you're not gonna spend, you're not going to wait a long time for them to call the manager, right? Um, you, want, you want the customer to see that um, that you have solved the problem immediately, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, but it's still gonna be about the future, even though it's the near future. Okay. All right, does that make sense for everybody? Yes, it can. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Everybody's clear about that? Yes, it can. Okay, good. And then find the last one, Ivan. Use will to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. I will be there at 9 a.m. I will help you prepare the document for the training. Okay, good. So you're making a promise to somebody about something you're going to do for the future, right? Um, we make the promise to help them, you know, in something they need. Like, for example, I will be there at 9 a.m. Um, so you're, you're making a promise. Don't worry. I will be there at 9 a.m. So you're promising them. But obviously, that's for the future. I will help you prepare the documents for the training. Probably the near future. Okay? But still going to be, it's a promise. Does this make sense for you, for you guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> that sounds like yes, maybe. <laughs> yes. Make predictions and decisions spontaneously, spontaneously. and to make a promise. Spontaneously. 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 Okay. Spontaneously. Spon spon I see. Spon <laughs> spontaneously. Spon yeah. Estoy escribiendo como la estoy escuchando. <laughs> Para tener una idea. Spontaneously. Okay. All right. So basically. Promise. 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 Yeah. The, don't say prom prom um, promise because if you say promise, uh, the word pro like or better so the the prefix pro in English means like you are uh, in favor of something and mice mice is the plural of mouse uh -huh. so pro mice you're 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 saying que you you are you are um, you support the mice <laughs> <laughs> Which could be true, but no. I don't know if that's if that's quite logical. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. All right, so it's promise, pro promise. Okay. So, anyways, the first one is about predictions. Okay. Um, this the second one is about decisions that you make spontaneously. Okay decisions that you make spontaneously because there's something in the present that happens that makes you decide to do something in the future, whether it's the near future or the far future. Okay? Most of the time it's going to be the near future. And then the last one is about promises or um, offering to help somebody. Okay? Now, what is the structure? It's very simple nothing complicated the structure is 
subject plus will plus base verb and the complement. Okay, that's the structure that we're going to be using. Okay. Do you guys have any questions about this? Something you want to ask? No question. No questions? Teacher, yeah. what is the difference the going to? Between going to and uh, the, the simple future? Just give me a second. Okay. Can you, I don't know, can you guys see this? Or is it too small? Is it, guys, is it too small or you guys can see it? I'll, I'm going to out, I'm going to line to put in a box so it's easier for you guys to see. There you go. Going to is used with evidence, right? Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll get there in a moment. Oh, what happened? Okay. All right. So there you go. So that's the time. Hmm? Maybe it's the time. The time of that sentence will and go. No. Okay. Again, I'm going to repeat. For the future, the simple future, or using the will, we can use it for predictions, decisions that we make spontaneously, or promises and offers. But in the case of um, uh, be going to, we can use it for two reasons. One is to talk about um, a plan or intention that you have. Okay. So if you, if you have the intention of doing something, or um, then you're going to use be going to. For example, I could say, I am going to, um, I don't know, I'm going to start exercising this weekend or this week, okay? So that, that is an intention that you have. Okay, whether it's gonna happen or not, that's a totally different story, but you, that's your intention. It's something that you want here or you've thought about it here, okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and the other reason that you use the, 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 um, the, the, the be going to instead of will is what um, Ana Claudia mentioned. Um, and it's that when we're make, we can we can also use the, the, the be going to, the future be going to, when we're making predictions, but predictions based on the future. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, based on evidence. evidence uh -huh. Okay, so that means that um, you don't just make the, the prediction just because you think that's the answer. You make that prediction because there is evidence that suggests that that is true. To give an example, um, look at the sky. It's going to rain. Look at the sky. It's going to rain. Why do I, why do I ask you to look at the sky? Well, because maybe the sky is dark. Okay, maybe it's a like a you know, a very dark gray color, you know, and maybe you can even feel a little breeze coming, right? And those are signs that it's going to rain. There's a, there's an evidence. So you're not just going to predict and say, oh, I think it will rain. You're going to say, ah, it's going to rain because there's evidence based on the sky. Does that make sense? And does that, yes, teacher. Does, that, does that answer your question, Wendy? Yes, teacher. Thanks. It's my for me. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Anybody else that needs uh, clarifying for that?
No? So it's clear? Yes, it is clear for me. Okay, good. Just remember, guys, that independent of what the subject is, the verb is always going to be in the base form. Okay? Why? Because after will, which is a model auxiliary, a model auxiliary, all modal auxiliaries are followed by the verb in the base form. That's the rule. That's, you know, that's 100% of the time. So we can't change this part here. It's impossible. All right. Okay. So um, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment because I'm going to take attendance again. Okay. All right, so here we go again. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. All right. Um, Habit? Present teacher. Great. Andres? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Del Solando, I guess not. Um, uh, uh, Edgar Menjivar? Present teacher. Okay. Edith? Edith Orleni? No, right? Uh, Fabiola? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Urban? Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, and um, Edith Orleni? No, right? Fabiola? No. Um, Heidi? Present teacher. All right. Irene? 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 No, okay. Um, Ivan? Present teacher. Great. Josue? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, Jerry? Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Luis? Okay, great. Uh, Manuel Alejandro, I guess not. Natalia? Present teacher. All right, excellent. And uh, Wendy? Present. Great. Warner? Present teacher. All right, excellent. And uh, Yvonne? Present. Great. Edgar Enriquez? No. Elizabeth? No. Um, Jose Montes? No. And Jose uh, Wifred? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay, guys, thank you. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to do some exercises uh, about the will. We use in will, okay? Let's see if we can, if we understood what we just discussed. Okay, so this is what we discussed. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna complete the sentence using will and the verb in parentheses. Okay, so we have, don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. This part here is, um, the. this is already completed, right? This is the example. So um, you can say, so, the verb in the verb in parentheses is show. So you say I will show. Okay. All right. And then I want you to do exercise number two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So um, how about if we work? Mm, let's work again with your with your group. Okay. Or with your partner. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna get you goes to go back into your groups, except that this time I'm going to give you more time because of course it is a longer activity. Um, I'll give you guys, mm, it shouldn't take you too, too long. So I'll give you guys eight minutes, okay? Um, okay. Just a moment, let me make sure I have everybody. Okay.
okay. when the when when to the the hook, okay, mm -hmm. the unit four, yeah, when the number two read and practice the conversation. Ah, okay. This is the they Diego and Stacy speak about the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Case number thirty-six. Yes, in the book. Thirty-six. Yes, we see the uniform. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But I when the the the, the number two is mm -hmm. the conversation. The number three completed training means analysis TA chart user the information from the box. I I can read from the box. <laughs> ah, yeah, can you understand? I can yeah. read from the box. Only I said completed training means analysis training chart using the information. I only that I wrote it because you're going to start. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. We already complete the sentences, teacher. Really? And yes. You guys agree? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. We don't have any issue. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Uh -huh. uh, well, just hang in there and um, you guys can go ahead and talk about Anything you like. Anything. <laughs> we were talking about the classes starting on, on Thursday. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Then we, so just, the, we will the have the just week. one day vacation. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, technically speaking, we're not even supposed to have like a... <gasps> really? I mean, in the sense that, I mean, it's not like, it's not programmed like, oh, we're going to have a vacation. It just happens. Ah. To happen like sorry it just happens to be like that because many times the documents are not uh, oh really not, yeah so i it, thought it was planning to have what we're gonna have for intermediate then <laughs> no no oh. it just happens to have be like that when for whatever reason mm -hmm. administration can't open up the group uh, mm. on time that's the only reason. Oh, okay. Oh, good for us that we could complete all the paperwork. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, you guys have been very responsible. So, um, you know, thank you. Thank you very much for that because that's what it's about, right? It's mm -hmm. about, um, you know, showing that responsibility. And like I said, the good thing about that is that you guys will be able to, um, you know, finish at least three more uh, courses before the end of the year. Oh, really? That's For intermediate, uh, it's a level, uh, there are, are there five or six level for intermediate? All of them um, have six. So six. six. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So six for beginners, six for intermediate, six for advanced. Ah, so, okay. So um, you need, we need at least 15, 15, um, uh, weeks to be able to have to get in three modules. Ah, right. okay, okay. So I don't think we will have enough time for a fourth one, but we will have at least time for for. Oh, ah, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. After after the advanced module, what is the next step? What do you mean? Is there uh, an additional module or just module. the advanced six is the last one? That's the that's it. Just advanced six. Ah, okay, awesome. But I, you know, the most what I I like is that we learn the grammar structure based in the uh, in the job uh, situations. So that is ah, I love. exactly that, that's why it's called the program is called English para el trabajo, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Or, or English for work because mm -hmm. it's based on um, 
you know, at work situations. And as we get further into the into the program, you will see that it's very related. Like um, there are like right now we're looking at restaurants, restaurants environments, uh -huh. the restaurant environments, which we can all relate to. Mm -hmm. you know because in some way i mean we all go to restaurants and things mm -hmm. like that but later on you will see things that are more specific to yet um like uh -huh. certain areas so um you get to learn a little bit about everything to be mm -hmm. honest I, I will be very honest with you um in this program i have learned a lot really <laughs> yes because um you know there's a lot of jargon um, you, you understand jargon? Jargon, yes. Uh, word that uh, I don't remember, but, like, but there's some... like technical vocabulary. Uh, technical vocabulary. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, jargon that is not my area, like um, I have, I have expertise, right? For example, computer. And, and there's a there's um, a section there that talks about computers. Um, mm. You know, and I'm not a very big computer experts so mm. for me, i've had to learn i've had to investigate and learn so it's ah. been an interesting experience yeah ah, okay uh, so so you will you will see that you we you will learn from all different types of things awesome mm -hmm. okay we are ready Good. to start next thursday <laughs> all right. okay i'll see you guys in the main room okay Not a problem. okay Okay, Lady and Red, they're not the same. Lady and Red. Oh, is my goodness. I get all the. Her hair is red, too. I like it. I like it so much. Oh, my Lady goodness. in Red is dancing with you. <laughs> you know, any, anybody that that would think, I they, they probably think that my favorite color is red. Uh huh. Hot. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, I just I, I like I like red I, I really like red but I it's not my favorite color uh, uh huh what is your favorite color by the way purple ah purple. beautiful but I rarely, I rarely use purple if you noticed I don't have why it. not <laughs> um I don't know that's a good I, it's just you know what it is it's because mm. I like a specific it's not well it's not really purple purple I like ah. I, I like um it's a tone of pur purple it's uh called mauve mm. Have you ever I'm going to look for it mauve mm -hmm. it's in Spanish it's called malva ah, okay. oh that is a pretty color yeah so there is a flower that mm. Uh huh. So I don't, I, don't, I don't like all purples. I like a specific tone of purple, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. finding that tone is not that easy in clothes. Well, actually, uh -huh. yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm but, going to look for it. But if you remember, if you remember behind me, um, my my the back the back of my my mm -hmm. wall the background. Yeah, the background is purple. So uh, <laughs> well, yes, it's a little purple. Yeah. I see it's sometimes gray, sometimes black. <laughs> oh well, right oh, now, right now, because I have the the um the. Digital. Oh, do, do you do you say when we were able to see your home? Oh yes, I remember. I remember. It was, exactly, it was, uh, I remember. It was purple, right? Very, like, very. Uh huh. Purple. Uh huh. Uh huh. The, the prom party will be in the picture house. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right. <laughs> I used the Ivan. Tumba la casa. Yeah. Well, maybe by that time we. Quiero ver cuándo sería. La fiesta de año nuevo. Quiero ver si ayer. Quiero ver la estantería. Once, once módulos. Sí, les faltaría once módulos. O sea que seis. Estamos... Uy, sí. Seis más cinco. Ajá. Sí, estamos hablando de como... Y hacen, y hacen un graduation date. Uh, o, es, o, cuánto, ya, o es, ya han hecho módulos completos y han graduado gente ya. Sí, sí, han graduado gente. Sí, hemos, hemos graduado a las personas ahí, han tenido... Yo no he estado, ¿verdad? pero mm -hmm. sí, um, han tenido ahí sus... Um, wow. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque es un gran esfuerzo estar conectado dos horas y estar... No, pero vale la pena. Sí. It's worth it. 
Quiero planchar el tuxido, entonces. <risa> te falta todavía 11 módulos. Guys, I'll see you in the main room. Ok, yes. see you, teacher. <risa> What about with the rest of the class teacher? <laughs> oh, they're there, they're there. I'm just waiting for my introduction, but I don't think- No, I'm... but I might disappear, Jess. You see the <laughs> sofa right there. <laughs> 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 I'll have to continue the class. Okay, uh... so um, I don't think um, you should have, um, it should have, it should have taken you too long. I don't think you, you guys need more time, but let me see. Let me just make sure everybody has finished. Yes, the chair. Yes, okay, good, good, good. Let's check the answers then. Okay. So um, I'm gonna ask you guys to give me answers. I will ask different people to give me your answer. Um, Okay, let's see if hopefully this works. Okay, so we'll start with Jose. Can you help me with number two? Okay, this is recommend. I'm sure you will have a good time. Okay. All right, thank you very much. All right, number three, Jose, help us. Number three, please. The training needs uh, analysis will be a success. A success. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Number four, let's have uh, Irvin help us with number four, please. Urban? Teacher, I'm here. I'm here. Hi. Sorry. Okay, great. Okay. You want to help? Promise, okay. I will do, no, yes, I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, teacher. And how about number five? Uh, let's have Warner help us with number five. She won't be late to the meeting. Okay, thank you. Um, Warner, you wanna help? You wanna tell us if you agree? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. And number six, we'll have Yvonne help us with number six, please. Okay. The manager will work hard to help us improve. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's see if you guys agree with this or not. So it says, uh, so, okay. So number two, I'm sure you will have a good time at the training. Do you agree with this one? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay. And I do too. Very good. The training needs analysis will be a success. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. 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 Good. Okay. So remember, this is the base form of the verb. You don't change it. That's why we don't say will is. Because the training needs analysis is it, right? That's the subject is it, but we don't say 
is, even though with the verb to be, we, or sorry, even with, even though with um, it, the verb to be, what you, you put it as is, but we don't say will is, you say will be, okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so number four, I promise I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. Do you agree with this one? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, good. And number five, she won't be late to the meeting. Yes. 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 Okay. Everybody agrees? Yes. All right. Um, good. Um, notice that uh, we use won't because won't is the contraction of will not not will not exactly will not. so the negative of will is not will not right and normally we contract it by saying won't so it's not very common to hear the will not it sounds very formal to say will not most of the times you will hear people just say won't okay that's, that's like like probably and 85% of the time, or maybe not. Okay. And, Teacher, huh? uh, just a comment uh, in the platform, uh, do you have that exercise, but the platform Donna said won't be. Will not you have to write will not be with. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, um, sure. So yeah. Um, just make sure you guys, uh, yeah, remember that the platform, uh, will see certain things that the platform accepts and the other ones that they don't. Um, but I will, I will make a note of that. Um, I will let, um, I will let the administration know so that they could include that possibility because that is not incorrect. It's not incorrect to say won't, um, unless the unless the the. Um, the instructions say that you can't use contractions. I'm not sure, does it say that? The instructions in the platform, do you know? No, they only say that you have to use the verb of the in parentheses, that's it. Okay, the, okay, and so in that case, if, if it doesn't say that in that instruction, then technically you should be able to use phone. So I'll just make that, that um, note to the administration so that maybe they can change it. But, um, but other than that, just use will not then, okay? So if they don't accept the won't, just put will not because it's also correct, okay? And number six, the manager will work hard to help us improve. Do you agree? Yes, teacher. I agree too. Yes. Okay, there you go. I agree too. All right, excellent. Any questions so far? So it's clear? So far, so good, uh -huh. um, um, I don't know if I do, but uh, only um, I don't know what they say, me llamó la atención, that the number three don't have a... Doesn't have? A subject, yes. Uh, have a subject, but it's not similar to that um, a construction. Um, only that, but I, I understand why, but only, um, what, what do you say? Me llamó la atención, dicho. It caught my attention. Mm -hmm. It caught my in, attention. It caught my attention. It caught my attention. Okay. Uh, I'll write it in the chat. Mm -hmm. It caught my attention. Okay. All right. Uh, Wendy, I have a question. According to you, what is the subject? 
Can you identify the subject in number three? The subject in number three is the training, isn't it? Is it only the training? The training needs. No. It's that other stuff. What do you guys say? say? The training needs analysis. We saw the subject. Mm, yes. Okay, so the training needs analysis is one complete thing. Okay, so it's not just the training. It's not just needs. It's not just analysis. It's the training needs analysis. Okay, why? Because a, the training is correct, right? But oh, better said, better said. The analysis is the actual noun, right? But we are using these words, training needs, to specify what kind of analysis it is. Okay. So the analysis we're talking about an analysis, yes. But what kind of analysis? It's an analysis to identify the training needs or the needs we're talking about necessities, okay? It's, or, or like if you want to say it in Spanish, el análisis de necesidades de entrenamiento, mm. right? So it's one complete subject. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so this is not a verb. This is an adjective. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's an it's an adjective. Or better said, it's a noun that serves as an adjective. Okay, and it, it's used to describe what kind of analysis. Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Anything else that you guys want to ask about? So everything else is clear, all this, the structure is clear, the vocabulary is clear, the pronunciation is clear. Uh, that word, uh, it will be an anal analysis? No, how do you pronounce? An yes, it's correct, analysis. Analysis, the stress is in the second. Yeah, analysis. Mm. So it's not analyze because mm -hmm. analyze is the verb. Right? This is an analysis. Okay? Okay. This is the noun, right? Um, it's the noun, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the, noun. It's the yeah. Mm -hmm. And analyze is the verb. Analyze is the verb and it's spelled, um, I'll write in the chat how it's spelled. Uh, analyze. Okay, so analyze is the verb. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions that you guys want to ask? Okay, so I'm going to um, imagine that everything is clear. You guys all understand the structure, right? Um, you understand the vocabulary, you understand the pronunciation. Okay, um, just one more thing that I wanna see if you guys understand. I wanna see if you understand the function, okay? And what I mean by the function is which uh, each sentence, why do we use it? Is it because we want to make a prediction? Is it because we want to make a decision, um, a spontaneous decision in the moment? Or is it because we're making a promise or an offer? Okay, so let's start with, 
um, so let's start with number one. Don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. Shows when, promise like for offer promise to help. To mm -hmm. Right, it's the last one, right? Showing promise or help or offering help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Number two, I'm sure you will have a good time at the training. Prediction? Yeah, prediction. Okay, so I have two people that think that it's prediction. What about the other people? It's a prediction. Prediction? Okay. Eh, chicos, no sé si me podrían ayudar ahí con sus camaritas, que veo que no todos me lo tienen prendido. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you agree? It's a prediction? I have three people in the class that say it's prediction, but I don't know what the other people. Okay. All right. Yes, you're right. This is a prediction. Okay. It's a prediction. Um, it says I'm. Sh I know it says I'm sure, but it's because you. It's what you believe will happen in the future. So you're sure because that's what you believe it. Okay. And number three, the training needs analysis will be a success. What do you guys think about that one? Is that a prediction? Essay prediction. Prediction to. Yes, very good. It's also a prediction based on what you think is true. Number four, I promise I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. I promise. I promise. I promise. Good. Again, once again, it's also a promise. And the it's a giveaway. The word that the 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 word promise here right so the verb is a promise so that's obviously because it's a promise and number five she won't be late to the meeting a promise a negative promise prediction mm -hmm. because yeah. a decision Uh, promise? Um, most of the time, it's very difficult to promise on behalf of somebody else, right? I mean, it is possible, right? But uh, most of the time, you make promises about yourself, but not so much about other people. So I would say maybe what makes more sense is more a prediction. Okay. And last one, the manager will work hard to help us improve. Prediction. Mm, a decision? No. Okay. It's a decision. Right. Okay, it could be a decision um, based on maybe some... Um, some uh, findings, okay. So they discovered something, okay. So then, say, okay, um, the manager will work hard to help us improve, right? Um, because most of the time, offers we or promise we promise an offer for ourselves, right? It's very difficult to make an, a promise or an offer on behalf of another person because you really don't know if they're gonna keep that promise, right? So most of the time we can only speak for ourselves, okay? But yes, it is also a possibility to make to make this one a promise too. Although, like I said, it's not very common, okay? So is that clear for everybody? Yes, it's true. Okay, any questions? Okay.
No question. No, no problems at all. Okay, good. So let's continue. We're going to continue. Um, hold on, just give me a moment. Let me undo that. Okay, there you go. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next part. This is your turn. Um, so we're going to role play. Create a basic training needs analysis. Take turns to complete the chart with a partner and choose an area of performance you need to improve at work. Discuss the chart with your classmates and um, you're gonna decide what is the most popular training solutions among your peers. All right, sounds good? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, um, a, I'm gonna get you guys to work in, um, um, in, 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 with a partner. Okay. Uh, so let me create the rooms here. And I'm going to, I'm not going to give you too much time. I'll give you guys seven minutes. Okay. All right. So here we go. The current skill is a skill and always identify training solution. Teacher. Hi. Teacher, I have a question about the TNA. What is the structure of the TNA? I don't know if the structure is those four steps that I have here, analyze the identify my current skill and knowledge, decide skill and knowledge gap, identify, tra identify training solution. Yes, correct. And then the way you can um, complete the chart is what we, we saw today, right? Um, which is, um, let me see, just give me a moment. Employee training needs, skill need, <laughs> DNA. Yeah. So okay. Is... Okay. Oh, sorry. That one. That one. Okay. So you... the chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's go to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me let me chart, verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, use use using the use the 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 box. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, uh, and plot your name. Yuri. <laughs> What's your name? Let me see that structure can copy and- Yuri Cruz. Copy paste. Okay, the date is today, brother. Today. Today. Uh Today. Yeah. It's Wednesday. Ah, 
no, it's the month first. I know. September. September. No, no today is August. September. Uh, Saturday. The food. The, the food in the and the elt the shape. And is uh, the position the 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 step the and the elt for uh, for fierce uh, fierce position and fencing. Okay, that person, but what is the task, the principal task of that? Yeah, the principal task is uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, se, the colocación en L, the, oh, los pies. So the, but it's a, it's a player, no, or, or it's a, a uh, training or oh, is a no, uh, it is the first coach. position and the principiums uh, for uh, initial the fencing. Ah, okay, it's a beginner, it's, a, yeah, it's like a, yeah. a beginning. Training. So, but the task, the principal task, what do where, uh, what kind of work uh, do this person? Uh, this person. Oh, I don't know if you have, I choose some kind of position in, for my case in, in the work, uh, like a person <laughs> like um, Colette, uh, or is like an um, uh, assessor. Como se dice assessor? Teacher, how do you say assessor? Kind. Assessor or advisor. Advisor. Uh, advisor. No, advisor. No. Yeah, an, an advisor. Yeah, but advisor. I'm, I'm asking you what kind. Because it depends. Like a ah, collect. In collections. Uh, um, collections. Advisor. Mm -hmm. hmm? Advisor. Advisor. Okay, uh, vice uh, uh, seria count advisor, for example, and the major task of the count advisor is make a calls, uh, uh, collect the the death of the people that have a death, <laughs> and well, what do I put in? Um, make calls, make calls to the people that have deaths, okay? This is a major task of the position. And another, this like, um, ah, bueno, this person is, is uh, training skill needs. She needs training skill needs, yeah, she needs. We have to create a chart about it, teacher. Yeah, like the one, um, like this the, one. The, uh -huh. Training and skills, okay. Training and skills. Yes or no. Yes. The another training solutions. Okay. Um, uh, training solutions. Setting the next one. Training solution. Well, training solutions in this case for the advice assessor, 
no, advice, account, account advisor is the, the solution, this is the practical practice. Uh, generator. ¿Cómo? Moros. Generator, uh, generador. Mm. Mainland electric motors and, ge and generators. Electric motors. Generators. Um, generator is the right word. Yeah? Generator. 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 Maintenance. Electric motors and generators. <gasps> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Only that? Uh, just check. Mayor has the position. Where is the mayor task of the position? Supervise model function. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Supervise the more function. Okay. And the date is September or August? Mm. Uh, September. Maybe in the, in the future. In the future. It's okay. September. Saturday, 18. Uh -huh. Okay. You need to, to have uh, circles and, and using that program that I told you. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? We need more time, teacher. Okay. Okay. Um, how much more time? Don't, um, don't tell five, me that. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes, teacher. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Three minutes it is then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys convinced me. Okay, but <laughs> okay. Hmm. For training solutions, I don't know. I I think um um the training, but um the same I think in in the restaurant doing off hours because um they need a. Uh, in the, the service to the the kitchen personnel for serve the 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 food early or on time yeah i think uh, is capacitations i think uh, in customer service because uh, in the personal um, in the kitchen could improve to have the, um, the food on time because of the problem in the restaurant is the people uh, wait a lot of minutes to to receive the, the food yeah mm -hmm. and what other areas would you like Are you guys finished? No. No? Almost teacher. Okay, you have about I think left. Okay. Sorry. You have a minute left. Oh okay. um, yeah. I finished about you. Okay, I'm 
I think is in strategic financial planning. Um, elaborate. Uh, yeah. I, I may I. Um, blah blah blah. Never mind. Improve planning, implementation, and results. Improve strategic leadership and better utilization of core com competencias, competencies. Competencies. Algo Debería ser uh, the training. Present teacher. Good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, I'm hoping you guys are finished. And we're going to be checking um, and presenting tomorrow. Okay. If you don't mind, we'll, we'll present tomorrow. Sounds good? Yeah? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. All right. Excellent. Okay. So let me just take a quickly the attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Javid. Present teacher. Andres. Present. Present. Orlando. Esther. Present teacher. Edith Orleni. Irvin. Present teacher. Fabiola. Heidi. Heidi. Mr. Heidi. Se nos fue Heidi. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, Irene. Irene. Uh, Ivan. Present teacher. Um, Josue. Present. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Good, Jerry. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Natalia. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Uh, Warner. Present teacher. Is Yvonne. Present. Okay. Uh, Edgar Enriquez. Eh, Elizabeth, Jose Montes, and Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Remember, tomorrow is our last class um, for this module. Make sure that you connect on time and um, that you were here during the whole course. Sorry, the whole class. And um, don't forget, we're going to be doing the, the survey, but until tomorrow, don't do it today, please. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I wanted to let you guys know is that um, according to our program session, I have um, a, well, um, the person that um, is supposed to um, have the session today is not here. So I don't know if um, there's anybody that missed their session that you would like to have it today or if um, um, you know you want to have a second session, that's fine too. Anybody cool. want to? No? Okay. No, teacher, I have a question uh, for the final exam. Uh, is for tomorrow. 
Yes, final exam is um, due tomorrow. Yes, correct. Any other questions you guys have? Okay. All right, guys, so that will be all. I'll see you guys tomorrow and have a good, a good night. Thank you, good teacher. Night you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.